The Conservative MP warned the only two options on offer now for MPs to decide on will be a no. Deal Brexit scenario or an endless delay to the process. Sir Graham warned an extension to Article 50 will be devastating, as it will create more uncertainty for businesses seeking reassurances from Parliament. He said, the two scenarios that have become more likely are either departing as people voted for but without a deal now because the deal has been voted down, or some kind of endless delay and all of the greater uncertainty that that would entail, that would be a devastating result, especially for businesses that really want some certainty now, they don't want endless delays and obfuscation, asked whether he was relaxed about the Prime Minister's decision to give a free vote to her MPs on Wednesday's vote on number deal, he replied, it's a strange thing to do when we had a very clear manifesto commitment on this subject. Sir I'm surprised by it, but I think all members of parliament should look to their conscience and they should look at their manifesto in which they were elected and they should look at the commitment they have given in the past. I will vote to leave the European Union as it is currently the law and as the British people voted. For Brexit news, Sir Graham Brady warns the UK faces an endless Brexit delay. Image, Sky Getty, I will vote to leave. The European Union as it is currently the laws here. Graham Bradimps voted by 391 to 242 to reject the deal. A majority of 149 votes, leaving the future of Brexit hanging in the balance. The Prime Minister dashed to Strasbourg last night in a bid to secure legally binding changes to the backstop which was aimed at preventing a hard Irish border. But Mrs May's 11th hour agreement with the EU was not enough to win over the majority of the European research group ERG of 100 pro-Brexit Tories led by Jacob Rees-Mogg or the DUP, whose 10 votes prop up the government. MPs will vote on Wednesday on whether they want to leave the European Union without a withdrawal agreement and political declaration, a no-deal Brexit. The Prime Minister warned that a no-deal scenario would be bleak with a significant economic shock, the loss of security cooperation with Europe and the prospect of the breakup of the UK's support for Scottish independence and a united Ireland could increase. Should MPs reject that, there will be another vote on whether Parliament wants to seek an extension to Article 50 delaying the UK's departure beyond the current March 29th deadline. But Mrs May stressed that would not resolve the divisions in the Commons and could instead hand Brussels the power to set conditions on the kind of Brexit on offer, or even moving to a second referendum, to secure an extension to Article 50. Mrs May would need the support of the 27 other EU states. They are likely to agree to an extension as long as there was a prospect of a deal being reached, or a referendum or general election which could change the political landscape at Westminster. European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said that Brexit should be completed before the European elections which take place between May 23rd and 26th. If the UK has not left the EU by then, it will be legally required to hold these elections, he said. If a longer extension was sought, that would mean taking part in the elections, something likely to fuel Eurosceptic anger and potentially see Nigel Farage standing for the new Brexit party.